Welcome to Dope Campbell Stadium. And you might as well get used to the sound you're hearing. The Seminole War chant is going full throat. As we wind our way toward the end of another college football season, one of the grand traditions is paying tribute and respect to those who have just poured their souls into the success of this program and honor the seniors on Senior Day. As we'll see a squad from the SEC, the Florida Gators, taking on the winners of seven straight, the Florida State Seminoles. For EA Sports College Football, I'm Reese Davis, David Pollock, and Jesse Palmer with me. Guys, it's time to get it going. The Gators will kick it away to start us off. He'll bring it back from inside his five. Nice job executing all of the assignments as they put a stop to that return at the 22. The Seminoles offense is on the field for the first time today. The Sunshine State is so rich in talent, the players have known each other in many cases for a long time, and that brings the intensity to a fever pitch. And they do not like each other, Reese. Three of the four years that I was a part of this rivalry game, there were bench-clearing brawls in the middle of the field before opening kickoff. This game just feels different. With the first down, they'll put it in play from the 33. Wide receiver shows motion. Touch pass on the jet sweep. And he's brought down after a nice game. I love that play call, and I love the timing of the pre-snap motion. Because the quarterback was able to get it to the receiver right behind the offensive line, because of the timing, he was able to outflank the defense. That puts him out in space where he's able to use his speed. Nice job with the pre-snap motion in time. Renegade was feeling his oats the last time these two got together as Florida State blew out the Gators. And with that win, it just carried so much momentum throughout the rest of the season for the Seminoles and in the offseason as well. This is one of those games, if you win like that, you make a statement, not just in the state of Florida, but all across the country. And a nice run there before the defense finally makes the stop. Listen, you, you got to be able to know what play to call and what hole to go through. Like, the line blocks for a certain hole. Good job getting through the hole, getting what was blocked, getting a nice positive gain, making your situation really good on the next down. Back to throw. It's Holstein. That pass not closes. He got drilled trying to deliver it, and it'll bring up fourth down. Offense. QBs and receivers on third down. Everything has to happen just a split second sooner. You're expecting pressure. The quarterback gets hit. Just not on the same page with his target. He's got a first down and maybe a lot more. Good job running that route to get past the sticks because he got nothing after the catch. That's a great example of the receiver knowing exactly where the first down marker is. He got the depth he needed to get, so once he was able to make the catch, he already knew he had it. Now, a fresh set of downs. Wide out in motion. Quick touch pass to the receiver. And he's brought down after a nice game. It's so hard for a defense to have to stop plays like that because it really forces you to play with great eye discipline. You see the pre-snap motion. Defense doesn't know if he's just running across the field and he's going to run a route, if he's going to block, or if he has the football. And that time, he was able to outflank the defense and hurt them to get that first down. Now, he might have the defense's head spinning a little bit now. Hit him with a big run, now they hit him with a big pass. Man, it's so hard to defend both. You know that. Which coverage do I want to put? Do I want to put more people in the box to stop the run? When you've got this kind of balance on offense, the defense can't be right. This defensive front just ran free in the backfield. He'll lose three. Got to give the defense credit. Watching film, anticipating. They knew that this offense had this play in their back pocket. They knew about the speed of this wide receiver and different ways they were going to try to get him involved. Everybody on defense on the same page playing together. I love it. Offenses don't like being in these situations. They don't like having little success on first and second down because now you know i got to pass the football. i got to air it out. It makes me really predictable. So let's make sure you take care of the football and find those plays you really like. On third and goal, they'll try to throw it in. 
Touchdown, no! Then they strike first. What a nice job by the offense. First drive of the game, they matriculated down the field, put themselves in a goal-to-go situation on third down. It's not going to be easy throwing it, but they win the matchup, accurate throw, and they get paid. Ready to try the point after. And the extra point is good, and it's 7-0. They march 78 yards down the field, and they close the deal with the seven-yarder for the score. Coming out with it, it's Daniels. Didn't find any crease in that kickoff coverage, and he'll be stopped at the 17. So the Florida Gators offense has the ball for the first time. And it won't be easy to throw the ball down the field today, David, because both of these teams have locked down corners. I mean, these guys shut down half of the field. Playmaking quarterbacks that really can play man-to-man -man and lock down the best guys on the other side. Yeah, if I'm a quarterback in this game, I am taking a calculated risk if I'm thrown towards one of these two dudes because you're just asking to get picked off. Able to pick up a couple before he's dragged down at the 19. It has been a season to forget, and honesty compels us to say changes are probably coming. I'm not sure, but I think Reese Davis just fired a coach. Is, is that what I heard? I'm pretty sure that's what just happened. Listen, hasn't gone well. You've heard the outside noise continuing to get louder and louder. Haven't met expectations. And this is the business we live in, college sports, when you get paid a lot of money to do a job and you don't perform. Listen, at the end of the day in college football, it's results-oriented. They've lost football games this year, and so all signs right now pointing to them potentially making that change before next season. If they're going to stay competitive and they're going to field the best team and program possible heading into next year, then it looks as though a change is inevitable here. Looking for room. It's Webb. Defense fills those gaps. He's got one to the 28. This rivalry only dates back to the late 50s, but what it might lack in long-term history, it more than makes up for in disdain, guys. Well, this game certainly doesn't have the longevity historically that a lot of other rivalries have in college football, but this game always means so much. It impacts the conference championship race, the national championship race, and the Heisman Trophy race. This crowd, full throat, splitting the eardrums and letting them know it's going to be a long day. Going to take a shot at this DB. Oh, what a grab by the defense. Got room on the return. And they capitalize not only on the pick, but their great return to give the offense tremendous field position. Really tough on an offense. Third and long, it's tough to you know you're passing the football. They know you're passing the football. I'm going to rush the passer. I'm going to drop that deep, make you throw the ball underneath. But, you know, quarterbacks also want to force that football and try to get that first down. He does there, and that's why he breaks the turn. On first down, here comes this offense. From the gun, the running back has it. And he does a really nice job finding open space and making a good game before the stop is made. Nine-yard pickup on first down, and now they can take a shot on second and short. Power football with the run. Brought down at the 38. It's a pickup of 10 and a first down. Renegade would be proud of the way they're using those horses to move it on the ground. Yeah, get the horsepower going. And, man, they've had some serious backs over the years at Florida State. And you think about all the talent, all the swag over the years. you got to get back to that, find those guys that they can really attach this offense to and thrive. And he's a real nowhere man tackled in this no-game land. Offense gets set for second down. Scanning the field, it's Holstein. Fires to the wideout. How about that play to get a hand in there and force the incompletion? I think for the quarterback, he's going to have to be so good with his eyes in this game. You're going up against one of the best defenses in the country. You've got to look guys off, especially when you're trying to throw to your primary target like he was on that last one. 
On third down, he'll try to pick it up through the air. Got him downfield. And they'll finally bring him down after he rips off a huge play. If you're going to be in the Heisman picture, you've got to make plays week in, week out at receiver. And that's what he does. He's a good route runner. He's reliable. And he's got speed to take it to the house. Top five in the nation right now in receiving it. Wide receiver now comes in motion. Trying to get the edge with a quick touch pass. Man, the defense, you hold your breath. When this receiver has the football out in space, you have got to make sure you're playing with outstanding pursuit. Nice job there, but as this game goes on, they've got to keep an eye on this guy and make sure they know where he is at all times. The give to Davis. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. I'll be honest, that is a formation and a play call I was never expecting to see in this game. This offense is one of the top 10 passing units in the entire country. I'm surprised they even have goal line in their playbook. What are we doing? Wants to throw on third. Throw to the end zone, picked off. And the offense makes the tackle in frustration after the interception drive comes up empty and it's a turnover. Looking for a productive play on first down. On the move. He's dropped behind the line of scrimmage. That'll be a loss of three. to start this drive. Here comes second and 13. From the gun, leaves it on the inside with the back. They stay aggressive and push their way out to the 33 and it's first down. Here's this offense with a fresh set of downs. They'll ride the hot hand. Finding a way to put that foot in the ground and get it up to the 37-yard line. Halfway there on first down, it's second and five. They've got him looking run. Now they're going to throw it. And it'll be incomplete. This is some physical pass defense. Better find the earplugs. Here comes the noise. Backing this defense on third down. Looking to throw, it's Washington. Throws to the wideout. On target to the left. And they get him down at the 43, but this is the kind of explosive play you want to build on. And the Gators are on the move. Leaves it with the back. He's dropped behind the line of scrimmage. That'll be a loss of three. Well, just nothing doing on that last run. And they knew coming into this one they were going to be challenged, right? This is one of the best defenses in all of college football. For them to have any shot, they're going to have to do a lot better running the football. Look, you can't take away everything, right? So you give them that and rally and make a solid tackle. Yeah, and a lot of times in zone coverage, I, I like when I can get all the eyes on the quarterback. I like when I can see the routes and see them develop in the middle. Throws toward the end zone. And that'll be incomplete. They certainly weren't afraid to take a shot there, and now it's fourth down. The Gators will bring the punt team onto the field. First punt of the day, and he'd love to lock them up close to their goal line. Able to keep them from getting a return, and the ball goes out of bounds. They're going to mark it right around the 20. The Seminoles have it back. They'll try to get that offensive spear flaming. That last drive was a punch in the gut throwing the pick in the red zone, Jesse. Yeah, and it just seemed like there was some miscommunication down there in the red zone. David, this drive, the QB and receivers just have to do a better job being on the same page. Yeah, and I think you pull the positives, right? We moved the football down the field. We had a chance to score, but we can't let those opportunities slip between our hands. Let's go get some points. Didn't get much on first down. It's second and nine. He's looking to throw. He lobs one high down the left side. Gets downfield for the big catch. Touchdown, Florida State. And once he found open space, the band might as well start playing. This offense is so good. Man, they can hurt you in so many different ways, and they do it so quick, so explosive. They can put small drives together, big drives together. They've really had a great year, and that's why they're a top 10 offense.
Well, we knew coming into this one, guys, the offense wanted to get this guy the ball. I had no idea it was going to be like this, though. We're not even done the first quarter. He already has over 100 yards receiving. And the extra point makes it 14-0. Lining up to cover the kick after that touchdown drive. Fielded in the end zone, it's Daniels. Stopped at the 17, and he's probably second-guessing that return. Florida has the ball back, and here comes the offense. To say this has been a slow start is a bit of an understatement, and they really need to get it going here, Jesse. That's right. The opponent, they're firing on all cylinders right out of the gate. Offensively for this unit, they've been slow and struggling. They need an explosive play to wake themselves up. Yeah, and it's just the first quarter, so it's not the end of the world. You've seen slow starts, but you got to continue to pick and pick and pick until you find that play or, or that scheme that you can use against this defense. Just enough there to get it to the 25, a pickup of two. That's the end of the quarter, and Florida State has the lead. They largely dominated this first quarter, as indicated by the stats. This could be a pivotal moment in this game as we open the second period and they try to find a way to answer. Decibels rising as the crowd gets behind this defense on third down. They'll try to pick it up on the ground. The Gators will move the sticks. Been really impressed watching this offense this year and how good they are on third down. The reason they're so efficient, they don't have penalties, they keep these third downs manageable, and they've got a special talent at running back that can find his way to the sticks. He's got it. He's there to make the stop, but the damage has been done as they pick up the first down on the throwing catch. And the Gators come to the line with a new set of downs. The give to the running back from the shotgun. The run game just has not been working for this offense all game long. We saw it on that last play as well. Just not getting enough push up front on the offensive line. They haven't been physical. He'll keep it himself. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. Nice job playing assignment football by that defensive end. Knowing what my job is, not letting that quarterback get out, get loose, making a good play, and most importantly, being there in the right spot and getting him on the ground. Trying to make magic with his feet. And sure, tackling there to keep him from getting to the first down marker. The Gators will punt this one away. This will be the second time they've had to kick it away. Able to keep them from getting a return, and the ball goes out of bounds. They're going to mark it right around the 20. Guys, here comes that Florida State offense back onto the field. They've jumped on them, executing at a high level and up 14-0, David. This is the exact... Oh, did he toast the coverage? Got it deep downfield. Flying down the left side. And he slipped through the crowd, and he'll house it. Touchdown, Seminole! And coming into the game, you look at the stats and you say top 10 offense in scoring. So they better be able to create what? Explosive plays. Another explosive plays. They've been doing it all year long. Those plays are backbreakers. Defenses just can't contain this offense. Getting set for the point after. And the extra point is true, and the lead balloons to 21. We check in with Kevin Connors. What's going on, Kevin? All right, guys, a little update on what else is happening in college football this weekend. Washington State is ahead right now, but the school that nearly saw Ryan Leaf win a Heisman back in the day still has some work to do. They're up by seven over Oregon State. We've got our eye on things here and everything else going on right now. And any updates, you'll see them here, guys. Thanks for the update on that one. Kevin, let us know when it goes final. Unloads to the wideout. He makes a catch. And they'll move the chains and get it to the 47-yard line. That last play is what you call a drive starter. They're out to the 47. It's first down. They'll leave it with the lone back. 
You'll take four yards on first down every time, second and six. And that's a really nice play. It's impressive, Lawrence. First down, the defense thinks you might be running the football. You still can line up. You can get some movement at the point of attack and find a little crease for your running back. And he'll be taken down, but he does have enough for the first down. Here's this offense with a fresh set of downs. Looking for space. It's Webb. They pick up half of it. It'll be second and five. Hey, five to six yards a pop. I don't know if you guys are really good at math, but that usually equals a first down every couple carries. So don't forget about the run game. Keep them honest. Pound that rock. The give to the back. Trying to impose their will on the ground as he stopped after a five-yard pickup to the 33. And, you know, when we talk about great third-down defenses, it really starts with them getting stops on first and second got to get those stops early in the drives to set up third and long, so that's a missed opportunity on that second down by this defense. Now well within striking distance as that third down play gets them a first at the 29. Here's this offense with a fresh set of downs. They'll leave it with him. Breaks the tackle. They'll make the stop, and he gets four on the play balls at the 25. Nice run there on first down. You know, this is a running back that gets better as the game goes on. So they're going to want to make sure they keep feeding him the football, let him get lathered up. He'll try to pop the draw. Got some room in to the goal line. And he rolls into the house. Touchdown, Florida. Man, what a nice touchdown run. And this is a team effort, right? It's got to start with the offensive line to give you that crease. And then the wide receivers start to kick in and the running back. He handles the rest. Nice touchdown run. About to kick it away after scoring the touchdown. From inside his own 10, let's see what he gets. Nice job executing all of the assignments as they put a stop to that return at the 22. The Seminoles have it back. They'll try to get that offensive spear flaming. Boy, that last touchdown, the one play, quick strike score. Jesse, this offense, hoping to keep that kind of explosiveness going. And I don't know if they're going to get the same looks defensively because of just how explosive that play was, Reese. David, they may be seeing a little bit more uh, off coverage on this drive and maybe some softer boxes to run into. And when you make that kind of explosive play, you're going to put the defense on the teams. They're going to be a little bit more conservative. So this offensive approach now, maybe I don't have to go deep. I can go a little bit shorter and just make those easy plays underneath. Wide receiver coming across in motion. He's flying by and gets it on the jet sweep. He's run out of bounds, but not before. Turning in a big pickup and moving the sticks for a first down. Man, this really puts your defense in a bind. When you got a quarterback with that much speed, it almost cuts the field in half. I got to play jet sweep on this side. You got to play quarterback on the other side and be extremely disciplined. We'll give him a couple on that one. Second and eight coming up. This offensive line better figure out a plan for this deep tackle. He is tough to block with one guy. You might want to start double teaming him. He's going to be a problem moving forward. You saw all of his ability on that last play. They've got him looking run, but they're going to throw it. Complete to the left. Chopping up this defense, and they've got it all the way down to the 23. Anytime a wide receiver makes a big play like that, images of Peter Warwick start flashing in Seminole's heads. And man, just the, that time, that era with Bobby Bowden, those offenses, you just think about high flying, every position, game breakers, and I think a swag, Reese. Just guys that I know I could throw to the outside that had swag that could take it to the house, make big plays. You know, I think a big part of this isn't necessarily scoring a touchdown on that play, but you're just trying to get your offensive line in the rhythm of the game. Let those big fellas get lathered up. Let's go! From the gun, running back on the move. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. Great job of contained by this defense. And in order to do that, the end man on the line of scrimmage defensively has got to be able to set the point and force the football back into traffic. And that's exactly what happened there. To the air, it's Holstein. Looking for the end zone. Ball in the air, intercepted. And they capitalized not only on the pick, 
but on the great return to improve this field position. And this is obviously not a great start for this quarterback here. Two interceptions already in this game. He's got to do a much better job with his decision. -making. Comes out throwing on first down. Fires into traffic and intercepted. Going the other way and he's got room. And he's going to score on the interception. Touchdown, no! Tell you what, as a DB, you're lucky if you get one pick six in your entire football life. This guy had one last game. He's got one this game. Quarterbacks are going to stop throwing his way. Now they'll line up for what they hope is automatic. And they knock through the extra point, and they're up 28-7. to They'll kick it off and send that defense right back out there to try to score again after the pick six. He'll bring it out. It's Peace. I imagine he's going to get an earful on the sideline after bringing it out of the end zone and being knocked down at the 11. The Gators sending the offense back to work. Well, the good news is they threw a touchdown pass last time. It was just to the wrong team, Jesse. Well, that's an unfortunate part of the game for quarterbacks, but guess what? They do happen, so you've got to be able to turn the page here and lead this offense. Well, I think you know this defense is going to be aggressive. They're going to jump routes. They're going to play aggressive. You've got to take advantage of that. Maybe use that this time to your advantage. Gets it out to the 20 after a pickup of four. So third and short from inside the 20. You convert here, and this drive takes on a different complexion. They'll try to bully their way for the first. Slam to the ground, but not before he gets the first down. And you know, big chunks like this don't happen unless you commit to the run game. You got to get those big boys up front into the game, understanding I want to knock people off the football, create some holes like you do here for my running back. Make the game easy. And there's finally a bright spot for this offense in the passing game, completing that on third down. I know we're in the second quarter. They're trailing by a lot, but you need something positive to happen here to build some momentum. Maybe they can build on that, drive the field, score some points before going here at halftime, and get a little juju going. First down here with time for maybe one more play until the two-minute warning. We've made our way to the two-minute warning, and now they'll try to at least cut a little something off of this lead before the break. The Gators will snap it on first and 10. He's going to pass. Pulls it in. It's Hawkins. Really putting together a threat now. They get the first. It's at the 37. And listen, you get zone coverage, and you can hit that curl route, and he comes open continually. Keep hitting it. This might be a play to come back to. To the air on first down. Complete downfield. They make the stop, but not before he sets them up with a first and goal from the 10. And this is a really important series of plays, a chance to cut into the lead just before halftime. Fires into the end zone. And good coverage there to knock it away and deny the score. Defense rolls up deep in its own end on that last play. Now a second and long coming. To the air. It's Washington. Got it. And he'll step across the sidelines after making a good gain on that one. Well, you can tell those two have been practicing the out route all offseason long. They look like they could have completed that in their sleep. The back goes in motion. Wants to fire it in the end zone on third and goal. And that one is picked up in the end zone. That's why you love veterans in this defense. They stay locked in on their rules, and he made the pick. The defense has been all over this quarterback all game long. It's almost as if they know where he's going to throw. That now, the third interception he's thrown. Guys, here comes that Florida State offense back onto the field. 
That last drive was promising for a while, but you just can't mess it up at the end with the pick, Jesse. No, you got to be able to finish drives, especially in this game, if you're going to win. And, David, they've got to be able to eliminate the mental mistakes. Yeah, and I don't think you get conservative or play it safe. You can trust your guy. I think you put the ball right back in his hands and let him do his thing. Hit hard as he released the ball on that first down pass, and it never had a chance. After that last incompletion, here's second and 10 from their own 20. Misfired on the last play. They'll go back to the air. Got his man downfield. Hit the gas, kid. Wide open ahead. Ripped off a huge shot play on that one as he gets the first down before he steps out of bounds. This offense is like running a perfection drill in practice against air, chunk play after chunk play, and here they come again. Quarterback touch pass on the jet sweep. And a good, solid pickup before the defense cuts him down. Well, and on these little push passes, timing is so important. They're trying to snap it right as he's getting a full head of steam. When he gets the ball, he's hitting the outside. David, it puts the defense in such a difficult spot. You immediately have to be rotating when you see that motion. So everybody's got to communicate and kind of bump over. That's why offenses love to run it. Just It makes the defense communicate and see if you can just get him out of the spot. And a decent game there before the defense makes the stop. I think they called that knowing they weren't going to hit a home run. So why would you call it that? Well, you call it so third down becomes an easier down. It's not third and long where I have to pass the football. Now all options on the table. On third down, the Jets sweep as they try to move the chains. Clock will stop with this timeout from the offense. They'll get a chance to regroup on the sideline. And you used to see the jet sweep as a play that I'm going to get outside and get big gains. Now it's so tough. Do you want to stack up the middle? Fine. We'll run it outside, get the first down. Really tough to stop. Down to the 12-yard line. It's first down. Touch pass on the run. Right. Touchdown, Florida State. And they take it in for six more points. He is dialed in. David, remember when we called Jameis Winston's debut? 27 passes, not one hit the ground. The two incompletions were caught out of bounds. This guy's locked in like that. Locked in, dialed in. And, and when you're compared to Jameis Winston, and by the way, I mean, he was in fuego that night. It was awesome to be there. Those are the kind of guys that catapult you to the next level and bring Florida State back. And the extra point sails through, and they have a 35-7 lead. They got the late touchdown on the board, now about to kick it away and hoping the defense can keep them from answering. And it'll be a touchback. The ball will come out to the 25-yard line. Offense set on first down. Leaves it with the running back. At the 35, he's got room. And he was off to the races, and he gets it to the 45. We've got a timeout in the waning seconds of the half. Maybe a chance to get off a couple more plays. He's looking to throw it. For the fourth time tonight, it's an interception. Looking for more room. And he's going to take it all the way back. Touchdown, Seminole. Look, a lot of time left. There's a little bit of distance right now being put on the scoreboard. There is, but it's so awesome when you're a defense and you study all week about what's coming and what routes to be ready for, and then you jump the route and you make the plays and you just go get in that end zone. It is so beautiful. On to attempt the try. 
The kick is up and good and put one more on the lead. That's the end of the second quarter. That means it's time to join Kevin in our halftime update. All right, gentlemen. Seldom do the rational turn irrational the way they do when these two teams and fan bases get together in the Sunshine Showdown. And it's been a battle of wills between these two teams through two quarters. Bend, but don't break. They've managed to neutralize the explosive playmakers on each side by shutting down passing windows and providing tight coverage. Forget the Jimmys and Joes. This second half could really be about the X's and O's. With that, let's throw it back to the guys to see how the battle between Florida State and Florida plays out. 